So, I've always loved the way Wes Anderson's movies look, and never really analyzed why. At first glance, I thought it to be just about vivid colors and symmetry, but there's something more to it. Wes and his director of photography Robert Jowman creates images that are symmetrical without being too perfect. Interesting without being blatantly revealing or unnecessarily secretive. They have a sort of tension where tension is not expected. The image, props, colors, settings and so on is like a character in the movie itself. I think a more accurate word than symmetry might be balance. A while back I came across this image feed with the name Accidentally Wes Anderson, which I later found out is also a book by Wally Koval. Due to copyright things I don't dare to show photos from his book, but make sure to check it out after you finish watching this video. So I try to challenge myself with photography. Not just waiting for inspiration to strike, but to give myself missions for the day, for the session or the week. I use the app Fuji X Weekly and find a film recipe that I like and then go out and try to find motifs that fit the look. This time I challenge myself to turn accidentally Wes Anderson into finding Wes Anderson. I went looking for settings, buildings, people, scenes, etc. that made me think of Wes Anderson and Robert Jowman. And here's what I found. This house is very close to being a perfect 5 for the Westness scale. If the color was just maybe like a pastel green or something, it would be a perfect 5. Don't forget to like the video to help me out and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Now this was probably my favorite photo of the day. It's not very West-like, but it's balanced and really nice. Now go out there and find more Wes Anderson inspiring stuff, and don't forget to tag me when you do. Thanks for watching.